Hello everyone and welcome back to The Howl. I'm your host Chloe Manolas and today I sat down with Varsity Boys volleyball player Greg Kuban and prospect Varsity volleyball player Christian Pontarelli. We discussed their recent win against Prospect, the rivalry, and a special trivia to test their volleyball knowledge. Thank you for joining us and we hope you enjoy. Hello and welcome back to The Howl. I'm your host, Chloe Manolis, back with another episode. I have Varsity Boys volleyball player Greg Kuban here in the Hershey Dispatch Studio, including a special guest from Prospect, Varsity Volleyball Christian Pontarelli. Thank you to Ryan Antonucci for introducing, and of course, Powered by Jets Pizza. Now let's jump right into it. So you guys recently had a game against Prospect and Hersey, and I want to begin with my first question is, Hersey and Prospect are known rivals and any against any game against the two is always an edge of the seat game how are games against Hersey and Prospect different from other games against another team you want to start us off Greg I mean we've always just had that competition between us both every single time we play each other it's usually like a close game for the most part I think yeah second sound that I one realize like that 26 24 or something so mm-hmm. like competition's always fierce against them they always have like we always have a great game between each other and everything it's always close exciting and yeah I think that's why we keep like playing well against each other and stuff. So. What do you think, Christian? Well, also, the other teams in our conference are not always the best, so <laughs> that kind of helps. <laughs> okay, straight to it. Straight to it. And But, yeah, the, the final score was 28 to 26, I'm oh, pretty yeah. sure, for the second part, and then the first one was 25 to 16. So v- very close game, and you guys kept tying, too. Yeah. So, like, I bet that was, like, a huge, a huge stressful. deal. I bet. And I want to aim to you, Christian. Um, you've been a part of the team for three years now, and from recent years and playing against Hersey, has a crowd ever affected gameplay, positively or negatively? Like, what do you mean? Like, like, like has, a, has a crowd, like, has it just, like, made you, like, nervous, excited? Not really, because there normally isn't that big of a crowd for volleyball games, so... It's okay. not like the stands are packed. Right. Well, I mean, has it just realized that, oh, like, they're, or like the score, for example, has it ever just made you feel, oof, like, we got to lock in or we got we to do a lot better? Honestly, not really, because I try not to pay attention to it unless I'm serving. I, I, get, I understand that. I understand that. If I miss my serve game point, that's kind of, like, disappointing. Yeah, I bet. And um, near the end of the game... You guys kept tying from like 18, 18, 19, and 19. And what was going through your guys' head at this time? Was it pure adrenaline? I would say for me, yeah. Because like always like when it's a close game and stuff, our bench is like kind of keeping us motivated and yeah. stuff. Like saying we got to get the side out. If we lose a point or something, just like trying to keep going that run. But like they were siding out every single time. It was like they were keeping it close and engaged. But our bench, I think, did a really good job keeping our energy levels up. And everything. Oh, 100%. And that's yeah. why we were able to – get the win on that match. Yeah, so. you guys were really loud and I I was like I was in the bleachers and like there was people like in the bleachers like cheering you guys on as well and it was like I could see like the the hype yeah just keep going up and up mm-hmm. near the towards the end of the game. And I want to transition over to the physical aspect of the game and uh, mention how there was like constant dives and close spikes especially near the middle of the game. During training, are you guys taught a way on how to properly land or aim for times like these? I mean, our coach is always telling, telling us to put effort on the floor, always, like, die for every loose ball and everything. Not loose ball, but, like, die yeah. for every ball, even if we don't think we can reach it, because sometimes you can, like, shock yourself. But in terms of, like, knowing how to dive, like, me personally, I don't really know how to dive and stuff, so I kind of just, yeah. like, flop and hit the ground a little <laughs> hard sometimes, but it is what it is. But our coach is definitely always, like, telling us to stay at on the tip of our toes and stuff and go for every loose ball for sure but yeah and obviously you have those knee pads to protect when you guys do that right uh, <laughs> so most, of, yeah, most of, of us don't use it but it's kind of just a little annoying for you when you jump and everything yeah but. does it hurt a lot no not really because i mean like after but like in the time you don't really think about it you know yeah, the yeah. Adrenaline I, I get it yeah it keeps that way no i totally get that but um I have a little special something going on for you guys today. It's a little trivia. Um, it's um, questions uh, regarding, like, the history of Prospect Volleyball and Hersey Volleyball. And I'm just going to ask you guys, like, three questions each regarding, like, you know, history of volleyball and all that stuff. So I want to start off with Greg. Um, which former Hersey player had the most aces during the 1997 season? I'll give you, I'll give you 
three answers. Chuck Sylvester. I don't know how to pronounce that. Is that Mary, Matthew, or Matthew Larson? Go with Chuck. That's correct. Okay. He uh, did it. He was, there was 58. Christian. Um, Prospect has the 15th most kills in a season in the state of Illinois with 1,319. What year did this happen? 1994, 1998, or 2010? 1994. That's incorrect. It was oh. actually 1998. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, what is the name of the former Hersey boys volleyball coach that ranks 29th in the state of Illinois with 254 career wins? Laura Gerber, Mary Fenley, or Nancy Lowe? I think it's Nancy, right? Or Mary. Yeah, uh, correct. Um, which former prospect player is 12th all time with 1,223 kills during the years 2004 through 2007. Marcus Vickies, John Ricone, or Giovanni Marcus? Sorry if I pronounced any of those names wrong. Can you say the names again? Okay. Uh, Marcus Zuzekis, jo John Ricone, or Giovanni Marcus? The first one. Yeah, you're correct. <laughs> Special names. guest. Um, what year did Hersey have the most kills against Palatine? 1991, 2001, or 1997? Let's go with 2001. I'm sorry, that's incorrect. It was actually 1997 with 63 kills. And for the final question, where does prospect coach Mike Rady rank in the state for career wins with 501? Third in state, seventh in state, or 12th in state? I'm gonna go 12. Sorry, that's incorrect. Seventh state. Oh, I didn't even know that. <laughs> okay, but there's also a bonus question for the both of you guys. Um, how many records does Prospect currently hold? Do you want me to give you a hint? Yeah, like what do you mean like records? For, like, it's, above, it's above the tens, yes, for volleyball. Like? Like just how many records does Prospect hold for volleyball? Like? Can you give me like a range? <laughs> Let's do 10 between 20. 14. You're right. Oh? <laughs> yeah, you're I'll right. <laughs> um, how many records does Hersey currently hold? Bt between 10 and 20 again, or? No, it's lower. It's like, I'll say between one and 10. Let's go eight. Well, if it was a pinch lower, it was six. So yeah, I mean, you guys had a great game and you guys are Prospect is coming here for another yeah. game, correct? Not sure when that is. And you guys are have you have your yeah, guys' uh, tournament this weekend against uh, sa Saturday. Yeah. What days are those at? The tournament this weekend. Yeah, it's just it's Saturday. Saturday. And what time does it start at? Eight thirty is our first game, and it goes to like around three. Okay. And you guys have your senior night coming up as well. May first. Is, it, is that exciting? A yeah, April thirtieth against El Elk Grove. It'll be a good match too, and everything. Yeah. Got a lot of series on the team and stuff, so it's gonna. Gonna be sad to like not play with them anymore and stuff. Yeah, I bet. Been a great season so far. 100. percent And you, do you have your senior night coming up, or has it already passed? Ours is May 7th. Oh wow, that's coming up soon. Yeah. How does it feel to like, you know, be you've been a part of this team for three years? Does it feel like weird to like leave your team? No, only because like the teams just change so much every year. Yeah. Because like. We've always had like so many seniors, so it's just like new people in and out every year, and so um, I don't know. Has it been a good run? I'd say it's been good enough. Yeah. Hundred percent. And um, what would you what would you say to like incoming freshmen, sophomores that want or have like interest in volleyball? They have interest around like on the team and stuff. Like have an interest in volleyball, then they want to join the team. I mean, definitely give it a shot. Like if you don't like it, you like at least you try it out and stuff. Like if you yeah. make the team and you like the sport, then that's good and everything. But if you never try it out and you have regrets about it, like that's gonna suck for like the rest of your high school career. And so yeah. if you get into it early, you might show to, like get a passion for a sport and everything. So. Oh yeah, hundred so. percent. And um, do you do you plan on continuing uh, volleyball once you get into college? Like, yeah, are you I'm gonna be playing probably. I'm not like 100%, but I'll probably be at Wentworth Institute of Technology. I'll be playing D3 men's volleyball there in Boston, so. Awesome. 
And you're coming out as a right Christian? Yeah. Where at? Uh, Benedictine University. And you're going for volleyball? Yeah. Awesome. Do you, do you expect, do you see yourself in like in the near future, uh, continuing volleyball as like a hobby or as a sport? Maybe like in my retirement coaching, but <laughs> like that would probably be the extent of my volleyball career. Okay. Awesome. I appreciate it. Well, I think that pretty much wraps it up. Um, do you guys have any questions for me? I think we're good. No. Awesome. Well, that pretty much wraps it up for this today's episode. I will see you guys again in the next episode. Thank you for joining me, and I hope you enjoy.